guys, I'm here today to take out everything that came with my every plate for the second week. So, um, it comes in a box and then it's inside this to keep it cool. Um, I have four uh, gallon size baggies and then four quart size baggies. I'm going to put the meat inside here and then each one inside here to make sure that I have all the ingredients I need for each dish. This is a good way to do it, I found, because I need to know what all I have, what all I supposed to have and if it came or not, and make my dish accordingly. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And it comes with all the vegetables and everything it comes in a box. Like this, and I can't open. I don't want to tear it, of course, because you can reuse these. So it comes in a box like this. And then the meat is here. There's only three meats because I have a vegetarian dish. And then it also comes with one of these that keeps it cold. So I'm going to reuse this, but there's a hole in this one. So I'll have to throw that away, but I'll reuse that uh, freezer thing. So the first thing I'm going to do, like in my other, earlier video, I showed you that it was um, one of them that has pork. And I don't eat pork, so I'll have to give that away. Um, but let's see if this sweet Italian chicken sausage mix. No, so they didn't send me the pork, which is good, but then that was part of my deal. So, uh, yeah, they didn't send me the pork, so that's one thing. So let me go ahead and get that together and I'll make a note to tell them that. So also with that is, oh my gosh, guys, you're not gonna believe this. Here are my fajitas from my previous week that I needed, along with the broccoli. So, okay, they're messing up. I'm gonna have to let them know. Maybe I'll get a free week or something, but. And then potatoes, oh my gosh. So how did you mix that up? And it come weeks apart. Anyway, so the the spicy, sweet and spicy pork meatballs comes with a slice of bread. Um, here's my poblano. So they mixed up my order. So let's see, garlic. And this garlic can be used for the different dishes because I still have some garlic from the other. So the garlic. Let me that problem like that. Um, white rice, which they sent me. That was in my other package. So let me get the white rice. Yeah, they would definitely be getting an email. The green beans that are in my refrigerator that came with the other pack. The soy sauce, which I had an abundance of soy sauce. So let me see what's in this package. There's my beef stock. Okay. So let me get the soy sauce, but as good as I kept it. All right, green beans. How many soy sauce? 
four to eight. So there's four soy sauce. The lime was in, where's the lime? The lime and sriracha. Sriracha sauce. So that's everything that goes in the sweet and spicy pork meatballs dish. these three cloves of garlic so I'm gonna go ahead and separate that if I can So that's the sweet and spicy pork. Next we have the yellow rice chicken bowl and with that we need two cloves of garlic, white rice which came earlier. Um, the chicken stock, the Southwest Spice, turmeric, which came last week. Now notice guys, I just opened this package so there's no way I got it mixed up. They mixed it up. Um, therefore my meal was kind of mixed up. I just had to make do. Here are my yellow, uh, my yellow onions that I needed. This one needs a red onion. Um, Two limes came with the first package and I used them both yesterday, so we're gonna have a lime for this dish. Uh, sour cream, one to two, so I'll use two. And the chicken breast. I need to make sure this chicken sausage does not have any pork in it. So that's, we have that for the yellow rice chicken bowl. That seems like that may be pretty quick to make. I may make that tonight because I am hungry. Haven't decided yet. Okay. So that's this for the yellow rice chicken bowl. The next is the linguine with a burst of tomatoes and kale. First thing we need is garlic. We'll need two cloves of garlic, the grape tomatoes, the lemon, kale, the linguine, this is the kale, guys. I wasn't looking at the camera. I do apologize. Uh, the Tuscan heat spice. Cream cheese. Two of them. Uh, and the shredded parmesan, which sounds like it's going to be delicious, guys. I might end up making that. And I may go ahead and record it on a separate um, 
separate video. So look for that. The linguine with burst tomatoes and kale. The prep time is 10 minutes and the ready in 30 minutes. So yeah, I think I'll do that one. And then my last meal for this week is the mini chicken sausage meatball soup. So what we need, okay. I have an extra ground beef, so I'll put that with the pork meatballs. That, that I think that's what happened. I changed it from pork to, to ground beef. So that'll go in this one this ground beef. So they won't get a phone call about that one. So we need the chicken sausage mix, one yellow onion, tomato paste, the chicken stock, the um, Italian seasoning, Okay, I need some shredded Parmesan, but they didn't send me two packages. So I may have to split that. And see, that's one of the reasons why you should go ahead and separate it all so you'll know um, if you need to split it or not. Uh, couscous. Got that. One carrot. One white bread. And two cloves of garlic, which I have some more garlic in there from last time. So, I thought I had a poblano on one of these dishes. Yeah, how did I miss that? The poblano. And I believe, guys, you have to help me. I don't know which one is which. Is this the poblano? And this is the green pepper? I think so. This is the green pepper. This is the poblano. So that goes in this dish. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Um, so that's all we need for this one. So this is what we have left over in this box, guys. It should have been in my package from last week. And that would be, actually, we have plenty of garlic here. More garlic, two onions, five potatoes and a green pepper, and beef stock, and my tortillas, and my broccoli. Look at all this that I needed for yesterday to cook my stuff, extra sour cream. I needed all that yesterday, so I just had to make do with what I had, especially for the meatballs. I didn't have any other things, or I had to use my own onion, and, yeah. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish this packaging this up. I'm going to go ahead and just place these items in the refrigerator. One of my thoughts, I could place the meat in the freezer for when I'm ready to cook it. But I want to go ahead and try to get started and, and start cooking and stop eating out so much. So I'm going to take a big risk, leave this stuff in the fridge and cook it daily. My plan is to um, cook in the evening and then eat a serving of it for dinner and then take a serving of it for lunch the next day. So that's my plan guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video showing 
the best way to break down when you receive your box from early plate so that you can make sure you have everything you need and uh, make adjustments accordingly. Please like, subscribe, and share, and let me know if you've tried early plate. I'm gonna go ahead on one of my videos and send out, uh, well, ask you guys to send me your email address if you'd like to try early plate. It, they're giving away one free box for you to try it and see, and I have five more left. So if you'd like to um, try it out, um, just send me your email address and I'll and I'll send you the link. The first five people. Um, so that's it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead on another video and make my uh, linguine with burst tomatoes and kale. Talk to you later, guys. Bye bye.